I'm Anil Kumar. We'll do dot product of vectors using their properties. The question here is, use the properties of dot product to expand and simplify sum of vectors dot product with their difference. So let me copy this question. It is u plus v dot u minus v, right? So that could be written as using the distributive property we could write this as u dot u then minus u dot v then plus v dot u so we'll multiply by the other one that's using the distributive property right so so v dot u minus v dot v right what we really did was in this particular step let me show you the step here in details let me redo it so what i'm doing here is first i'm doing dot product with vector u for u minus v is it okay and then with vector v is it okay u minus v now this is called the distributive property right so now what we'll do further again we'll repeat this property so we get u dot u minus u dot v and here we get v dot u minus v dot v u dot u is magnitude u square minus u dot v and this one is plus we could write this as u dot v right that's the commutative property and this one is the magnitude square for v right so what we did here was in this case uh, commutative property So in my case, what I did was I wrote the sign as such. I could have multiplied with the sign and used associative property also. So a step has been missed here. Anyway, we'll continue. So this is a zero, right? Minus uv plus, I mean, dot, right? Dot. This is the dot product. Perfect. In vectors, we don't have any multiplication as shown. We have dot product or cross product or scalar multiples. So we get magnitude of u square minus magnitude of v square. That's what we get. Since the sum of these two is zero, right? So that is how we can actually use properties and find the result of the given question. Therefore, dot product of sum of two vectors and their difference is difference of their magnitudes squares of their magnitudes correct so that is the result which you get i'm anil kumar and i hope that helps thank you and all the best